Yeah, so this is the second part of generative AI types. So thus we have seen that generative AI refers to a type of artificial intelligence that is capable of generating new data or content that's similar to the data it was trained on. The training process involves consuming large amounts of text and from books, articles, and websites, then analyzing the text to find patterns and relationships in human language. Hence, it is trained can be it can create new text based of an understanding and human language. It can produce essays, blogs, scripts, new articles, reflective statements, and even poetry. Let us try to understand with some examples. Image content creation. This type of AI learns through analyzing data sets of images with captions or text descriptions. Therefore, it, it knows what two different two different concepts are, such as cat and roller skates. It can merge these those concepts together when prompted to create an image of, of a cat wearing roller skates. The native AI image tools can produce diverse images in a range of mediums, everything from photorealistic oil painting style to any any. Some examples of generative AI that can create imagery include Dell E2, Midjourney, and Stable Diffusion. Now these are some of the examples which you can see in image 1, 2, and 3. Sound content creation. AI music generators analyze music tracks and metadata. Artist name, album name, genre, year, song was released, associated playlist to identify patterns and features in particular music genres. They have also been trained on lyrics associated with songs. Keep in mind if it has been exposed to one type of music such as Mozart, then the music it generates will sound somewhat similar to his works. Some examples of generative AI that can create audio content can include Iva, Soundful and Merck.ai. Auto-generated in Iva, in, uh, this is the URL of that, where you can see you know, for yourself that how the content has, got, been, has been created. And then audio generated in Soundful, that is again the one more URL set is given. So you can have a feel of it as to how this uh, content is created with the help of this. So just copy and paste this link and see how it works. Coding creation. Learnings to code is simple, similar to learning in a language. Commonly generative AI is exposed to large data sets of open access code in a variety of program languages, for example, Python, Java, etc. Through this exposure, it can find common patterns, practices, and structures within program languages. This leads to generative AI being used to write and improve code in a variety of ways, such as create code from scratch, predict the code you are creating, review code you have, you have been created, and find errors. Some examples of generative AI that can create code include ChatGPT, Code T5, and Tab9. Video creation. Creating a video typically requires the use of audio, visual, and text elements. There are a variety of generative AI video game programs. Some have harvested existing videos to learn how to create new ones. Others have sourced the three elements to creating video from audio, visuals, and text sources. There are even generative AI video programs that have been trained on how to use video editing software. So they are able to apply effects to a video that you have created, such as adding captions, transitions, animals, etc. Some examples of generative AI that can create video include Gen 1, Runway and Video. Research, Discovery and Explanation Generation now, There are many generative AI tools that can automate parts of the research process and make long complex text easier to decipher. This type of AI often analyzes research papers that users upload to extract key information or summarize the paper. 
some examples of generative AI that can support research discovery and generate explanations include Elicit, Skype, and Rexter. Key considerations for this is generative AI can be used in many ways, such as creating realistic images, generating music, or even writing stories. Keep in mind that it's limited to the amount, quality, and context of the data it's trained on. Generative AI versus discriminative AI models. The primary difference between generative and discriminative AI models is that generative AI models can create new content and outputs based on their training. Discriminative modeling, on the other hand, is primarily used to classify the existing data through supervised learning. As an example, protein classification tool would operate in a discriminative model while a protein generator would run on a generative AI model. Generative AI versus predictive AI models. Generative models are designed to create something new while predictive AI models are set up to make to predictions based on data that already exists. Continuing with other exam example above, a tool that predicts the text, the next generation segment of amino acids in a protein molecule would work through a predictive AI model while a protein generator requires a generative AI model approach. Benefits of generative AI models. The benefits of generative AI models are numerous and very important to AI's future, particularly in the area of data augmentation and natural language processing. Data augmentation, generative AI models can be used to augment data sets by generating synthetic data. This is helpful in scenarios where sufficient real-world labels data is not available, making it useful for training other machine learning models. Natural language understanding and generation. Generative AI models can be used to create AI chatbots and virtual AI assistants capable of understanding and generating human-like response in natural languages. They can generate human-like text or content creation, including articles, stories, and more. Creative applications, generative AI models can be used to create art, poetry, music, and other artistic works. For example, OpenAI's Jukebox, a generative model, can compose music in different genres. Generative AI models can also be leveraged for content synthesis as it is capable of producing diverse and creative content and assisting in brain, brainstorming and look, ideation processes. Versatility. AI models can be fine-tuned for various tasks such as translation, summarization, and question answering. They can also be adopted to different domains and industries with proper training and fine-tuning. For example, depending on the tuning, the output can be very serious and proper or casual and recreational. The mode and mood of the output can be tuned to a remarkably specific degree. Thank you.